Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Now we are going to learn about chapter 9, Applications of Differentiation. In this chapter, we are going to learn three subtopics. The first one is 9.1, Tangent and Normal. 9.2, Extremum Problems. And 9.3, Application of Differentiation in Economics and Business. In lecture 1 of 4, we are going to do Introduction to Tangent and Normal Equation. So student, at the end of the lesson, students should be able first to find the gradient of the tangent and normal at a point on a curve. Then, student also should be able to find the equations of the tangent and normal to a curve. Now, let's look at 9.1 tangent and normal equations. So, here we have the figure below shows the tangent and normal to the curve y equals to fx. So, here we have curve y equals to fx at the point P and here is point P. The line that touch the curve only at point P without crossing the other side of the curve which means this line cannot be beyond the other side of the curve is called the tangent at point P. So here we have tangent. Then the line perpendicular to the tangent at point P is called the normal at point P. So here we have normal. Student, you need to make sure that the degree at point P here where the tangent and normal meet is 90 degree. Therefore, the gradient or slope of the tangent to the curve at point P is defined as mt where t stands for tangent equals to f prime x which is the first derivative of f which is equal to dy over dx. Next, we have if two lines, tangent and normal, with gradients mt and mn, where n stand for normal, respectively are perpendicular, which means that at point P where the tangent and normal meet, the degree is 90 degree. Then, we will have mt times mn equals to negative 1. You need to make sure that it is negative 1. One. Therefore, the gradient or slope of the normal at point P is defined as mn equals negative 1 over mt. So here, you need to know two things. The first one is mn equals to negative 1 over mt and also mt times mn equals to negative 1. One. As a conclusion, we will have the equation of the tangent at point, for example, we have x1, y1, can be obtained by y minus y1 equals mt times x minus x1. Student, you need to make sure you put bracket here. Then, the equation of the normal at Point, for example, we have x1, y1 can be obtained by y minus y1 equals mn times x minus x1. So students, since we have mn equals to negative 1 over mt, so we also can write the equation of the normal such as y minus y1 equals negative 1 over mt times x minus x1. Example 1, find the equation of the tangent and normal to the curve y equals to x square plus 2x plus 2 at the point 1, 5. To find the equation, okay, we must have gradient and point. For this question, the point is already given. 
okay so we have to proceed with gradient uh, for tangent okay we can find the gradient okay your mt by using dy dx uh, we have the curve so we differentiate okay the function so to x plus 2 then we substitute the point given uh, so your m tangent will be 2 times 1 plus 2 okay equals to 4 to find the equation okay we must use okay this formula okay we substitute gradient and x1 and y1 is your point okay let's substitute the value of gradient and point to find the equation of tangent so y minus 5 equals to 4 x minus 1 uh, we simplify so for x minus 4 plus 5 uh, so your equation of tangent is y equals to 4x plus 1. Uh, then we want to proceed to equation of normal. For normal, okay, the gradient, your mn, okay, is equal to negative 1 over gradient of tangent. Uh, so gradient of tangent is 4. So your gradient of normal is negative 1 over 4. Okay, let's find the equation of normal. The same point, y minus 5 equals to negative 1 over 4, x minus 1. Uh, we simplify it. Okay, you should get y equals to negative 1 over 4x plus 21 over, 21 over 4. Or you can multiply all the terms with 4. So you should get 4y equals to negative x plus 21.